Hello there, uh, Charity Shop Addict here with a few things I picked up from Charity Shops recently. Not much vinyl in this case. Um, I thought I'd try out a, new, a few new shops that I hadn't been to before. Um, but what I actually discovered was that it seemed like the, the shops I'd picked out were basically basically where they send all the crap that they can't sell at other charity shops. So it's basically where the vinyl records go to die. It was just a load of load of all rubbish but I did pick a few things that were uh, vaguely interesting then that I didn't have so these are not especially rare records but they're new to my collection so I've got this Frank Sinatra uh, sings music for pleasure which is uh, yeah it's, there must be tons of Frank, Frank Sinatra compilations out there and yeah this seems seemed to be quite all right um, this was only a pound, uh, so I can't really complain about that. There's nothing, nothing too interesting inside of it. Nah, no, just standard label. Um, uh, same shop. I also got this Janis Joplin, Greatest Hits. Um, yeah, so, which is again an artist I don't have. I really like the front cover. She looks really cool there. Um, so I thought these were going to be free for a pound, but it turned out the free for a pound offer only applied on some of the records, um, which is a bit annoying. So that was two pound, but still, yeah, still not too bad. I don't think there's anything exciting to show in there. No, just a very normal label. And then I also got this Billy Holiday. So yeah, Billy, Hol Billy Holiday Greatest Hits Volume 2. Um, I was a bit dubious when it says Volume 2. I don't know if they saved all the best stuff for Volume 1 and then all the other cast-offs are in Volume 2. But uh, it does have some songs that well, my wife recognised. I don't know any in particular apart from Stain the Strange Fruit. Uh, so the interesting, well, somewhat interesting thing is this is a Dutch edition. So it's got the Dutch and the English. Uh, descriptions on the back so that was one pound got a few singles um, kind of some early nine early mid 90s stuff first I've got Nana Cherry that is which one's this man child and Buffalo Stance I've uh, got the levelers, just the one, which was yeah, which was everywhere in the whatever year this was, mid nineties, yeah, ninety five exactly. So this this is more of an EP than a, a single actually. Um, yeah, so that was a pound, and a slightly later single. So this was from two thousand and two, I think. I'll just check the label, yeah, 2002. So this is a band called Miss Black America. And I know these because uh, John Peel, the DJ, was uh, a supporter of theirs. Um, I think they were fairly local to him, so in the Suffolk area. Um, so I think he had some personal connection with them. Um, yeah, so this is, the, the track is Miss Black America, um, which featured in one of his annual countdowns of the records of the year and then I just got a whole bunch of a uh, bunch of CDs to show most of these were free for a pound unless I say unless I say otherwise so I've got and some of them is a some of these are things I not have previously for whatever reason so Ben Folds 5 uh, what, is it, what is actually this called Whatever, whatever and ever, amen. Um, iron and wine. The shepherd's dog. This is more recent, I think, isn't it? Yeah, 2007, that one. Um, back to 90s Britpop, we've got McCalmont and Butler, The Sound Of. So I mean this is worth it probably for the tracks Yes and 
uh, you do. So Bernard Butler was in suede, of course. Now we can't do Taurus in suede. Um, what shall I do next? So yeah, some random jazz compilation. Um, the only jazz album you'll ever need, uh, which is which is huge if true, because that means I don't need to buy any more jazz. Um, it's clearly targeted at the people that are slightly interested in jazz, because um, it says like what TV adverts all the songs appeared in. Um, I mean that's all right. That's just all right to have. I don't really have any jazz. And on the same vine, the same lines, got some country compilation, 20 country songs, uh, various artists, because I'll, I'll kind of use this to see if there's art any artists I like the sound of and then maybe look for their records. Got, uh, this is an album I had but I gave away for some reason, I'm going to really clear out my CDs, so it's Jenny Lewis and the Watson Twins, Rabbit Fur Coat, a nice kind of folky style album from 2003 so it's good to have that again I'll give that a second chance I think so again so all these ones I've shown so far are one for a pound this is quite good so this is the Unthanks and it's uh, called who are kind of northeast uh, northeast folk bands this is songs from the shipyards basically songs themed around the shipbuilding industry in the northeast of England. It's got a cover of probably the most famous song about shipbuilding. Uh, yeah, shipbuilding. By written by Abbas Costello and performed by Robert Wyatt, I think. Um or at least he's got the most famous version of it. So yeah, this is actually a really good listen. Um, and that's definitely worth more than 33 P. Um Another album I didn't have for some reason, so I never actually picked this up. This is Hot Chip, The Warning. Um, so I, yeah, I mean, I, I knew them back in the day. Uh, I became aware of them again because I just went to see a, went to a, a gig by Jarvis Cocker recently, and the singer from this band was supporting him. Um, so that kind of put them on my radar. A few kind of heavier things now. Um, I've been getting into heavy mu heavier music recently, so Archer. Oh, now this isn't. Sorry, before I go into this, this is this is a band that I or an album that I don't really know anything about. To be honest, it's called F By Four Hero Two Pages, and it's got some it's got some fairly glowing reviews on the front, um, which is kind of why I picked it up. It's got like a trip hop album um, from the early two thousands. Um, so that's, yeah, that's worth a listen. So yeah, heavier stuff. Now, still on free for a pound. So, In Flames. Uh, uh, where are these guys from? I think these are Scandinavian. This was, album was made in German, kind of, this is a German release. Um, yeah, so that's that. I mean, this one was a bit of a, yeah, a bit of a laugh, really. Slipknot, Iowa. Basically, just, you know, I remember hearing about Slipknot back in the day and thinking, like, getting the impression they're, like, the most extreme band ever ex to ever, ever exist. But, I mean, I doubt that's going to be the case. But, I mean, I thought for 33 P, I might as well have a go and see if there's anything that I can enjoy in it. On a similar vein, so you won't probably won't be able to see because the font is quite elaborate. This is Cradle of Filth and Live Bait for the Dead. So this is a live album. It's got two CDs and it's got some quite nice packaging. So I thought if anything else I might be able to sell this on. So it's not three pound. Um, that's what they originally tried to sell it for. But I got it in a three for a pound deal. Another one. So this is Children of Bodom. I thought it said Children of Sodom which probably would have been a better name for a metal band. And these are Finnish. And again, this is in, manufactured in Germany. So again, they tried to sell this in the shop for £4, but obviously no takers. 
So I guess this would have come from the same person as the In Flames album. You'd imagine. There can't be that many people giving away German heavy manufacturing in German heavy metal releases. The next couple I've literally got no idea about. Um, they kind of looked different and it's somewhat interesting. So the band here is a day in black and white. The album is notes and I think they're an American emo band. I think this is an American album as well. But um, yeah, not much about them on the internet. So yeah, just something, I guess. I might, something might be something enjoyable in here. Um, next one, I kind of like the cover. So this is two bands here, Alfonso is one band and the Skull Kid and they've got uh, six tracks each so it's like a shared, it's like a split, split album if that's a thing um, can't really find any information on them so I mean this is obviously quite rare it doesn't make it valuable unfortunately so um, yeah so they're all, all those, so this huge stack was all free for a pound so I was total of like I know four quid's worth of CDs there. Next few ones were extortionally expensive by comparison, so these were all a pound. Um, so I've got this Johnny Cash. So this is like a nice two CD set of his live albums from, well, Folsom and St. Quentin. Um, so I'm mostly, I mean, most of my Johnny Cash knowledge comes from his the covers albums that he did um, so when he did Hurt of course by Nine Inch Nails um, so it, I've always meant to go back to his some of the early stuff um, I've got a copy of What the Line the movie on DVD but I haven't actually got around to watching it even though I've had it on the shelf for 10 years or so um, yeah so, so that was not bad for a pound and even though I've, al I've already got the only jazz album I'll ever need. I actually got a couple more. So this is a Miles Davis Sketches of Spain, um, which I haven't got around to listening yet. To yet, be, to be honest. Um, so I didn't pay eight pound forty nine for it. I paid a pound. Um, yeah, I so I need to listen to that still. And finally, we've got uh, John Coltrane. Love Supreme, so I mean, I did probably what everyone does if they want to just get into jazz. They looked at what albums I recommended, and one of them was this one, and the other is uh, Miles Davis, but kind of blue, which I've got. I got that off eBay, I've got that coming in a few days, hopefully. So, yeah, a pound for what I'm led to believe is one of the best jazz albums ever released, so can't really go wrong there. So, yeah, that was that's it, really. So some fairly, uh, yeah, some couple of, a few albums that are not particularly interesting probably. A few singles that are okay and a whole bunch of CDs. So, thanks for watching. Um, I'll keep on going to my charity shops and if anything else pops up I'll post another update. Uh, thanks a lot and take care.